okay in the today's lecture we are going to see magnetomotive force for a mmf so uh, the force produced by a current through a coil of wire is called magnetomotive force as shown in the figure so if a current flows through the coil uh, we can see in the figure there is a one coil okay so if we uh, if the current flows through that coil the magnetic flux is generated around that coil that magnetic force is called as the magnetomotive force okay and that uh, setup is called as the electromagnet okay so basically uh, you can understand what is magnetomotive force okay the force produced by the electric current flows through the coil is called as the magnetomotive force okay so uh, that setup is called as the electromagnet okay you can see in the diagram uh, one coil is given okay and uh, uh, the current flow through that flows through that coil as current flows through that coil the magnetic field or magnetic flux is set up across that coil or around that coil that magnetic force is called as the magnetomotive force and that setup is called as the electromagnet okay so basically there are two types of magnets one is the permanent magnet and another one is the artificial magnet or the electromagnet okay so permanent magnet has a permanently two poles north pole and south pole okay but electromagnet uh, does not have a permanent poles uh, so whenever there is no current flows through the coil there are no any pole there is a no any pole north pole and south pole okay whenever there is a flow of electric current there is a generation of north and south pole uh, across that coil okay which is called as the electromagnet okay so the magnetomotive force is uh, calculated by multiplying number of turns of the coil into the current flows through the, that coil so mmf is equal to n into i okay so n is the number of turns of the coil so uh, what is basically mmf for magnetomotive force it is the force generated by electric current flows through any coil is called as the magnetomotive force okay then magnetic force so what is magnetic force magnetic force can be defined as the attractive or repulsive force that is exerted between the poles of magnet and electrically charged moving particles so as we know that a permanent magnet has a two poles north pole and south pole and there is always attraction between north pole and south pole and there is a repulsion force between north pole north pole or south pole south pole that force of attraction and repulsion between the two poles of the magnet or the uh, force of attraction and repulsion between electrical charge moving particles is called as the magnetic force okay so it is the basically force of attraction repulsion between the poles of the magnet next one is the electromagnet so already i uh, i have told you that this setup is called as the electromagnet which is given in the diagram so there is one coil uh, okay and uh, uh, if the current flows through the uh, that coil uh, the emf induced uh, not emf if the current flows through that the coil uh, magnetic flux develop across that coil which is called as the magnetomotive force and that setup is called as the electromagnet so whenever current flows through the coil of conductor magnetic field develop across it which is called as the electromagnet then magnetic field it is the region near magnet in which influence or effect of magnet is felt and that region is called as a magnetic field so what is magnetic field magnetic field is the region neighborhood to the magnet okay uh, so magnetic field is just a region near to the magnet in which influence or magnetic flux lines are present or influence or effect of that magnet is present that area or that region is called as the magnetic field so magnetic field uh, is no, uh, not a magnetic flux or a uh, do, uh, does not consider as it as a magnetic force so magnetic field is just a region near to the magnet in which influence or effect of that magnet is felt or we get the influence of that magnet in the in that region that region is called as the magnetic field so magnetic flux phi total number of lines of force in a magnetic field is called as the magnetic flux and its unit is weber so uh, the total number of lines of magnetic flux okay you can see here the four lines four lines above to the magnet and four lines below to the magnet this total number of lines of flux is called as the magnetic flux okay 
uh, okay the total number of magnetic lines or magnetic lines of force is called as a magnetic flux notation is phi and its unit is weber then magnetic flux density b the flux per unit area which perpendicular to the flux is called as the magnetic flux density so uh, we can uh, understand the density uh, that the flux per unit area okay so how much lines are passing through unit area or a given unit area which is called as the magnetic flux density okay so uh, uh, how many lines or how much lines are passing through the unit area or given area or unit area which is called as the magnetic flux density so we can obtain magnetic flux density by total lines of force divided by area through which that lines of force are passing we get the magnetic flux density b is equal to phi upon a so b is equal to total flux upon total area we get the magnetic flux density so pl flux passing through unit area is called as the magnetic flux density and its unit is tesla or a weber per meter square we can measure the uh, unit of uh, magnetic flux density can be tesla or a weber per meter square magnetic field strength notation is h so it is the force experienced by a unit north pole placed at point in a magnetic field is called as the magnetic field strength at that point so you can see here the magnetic field field if we uh, at if you place a unit north pole at any point in the given magnetic field that north pole can experience a force okay due to the presence of north and south pole whatever force that north pole can experience is called as the magnetic field strength at that point so are you getting what is that uh, magnetic field strength uh, here is the one uh, artificial or electromagnet and around it there is a magnetic field so what is magnetic field it is the um, area or it is the region in which mag uh, effect of magnet is felt okay so if you place any unit north pole inside this magnetic field that north pole experiences a force from this north and south pole so whatever the force is experienced by that north pole is called as the magnetic field strength at that point okay and it is given by h is equal to ampere per turn meter so ampere turn per meter is the unit for or it is the measurement of magnetic field strength so b is equal to mu upon mu into h or h is equal to b upon mu which is the formula for magnetic field strength then permeability so it is defined as the ability of material to carry the flux lines so uh, each material has a different ability to carry the flux lines some mat uh, some materials can carry flux lines very easily okay and some material does not uh, carry the flux uh, very easily okay so uh, what is the ability of that material to carry the flux lines that ability is called as the permeability okay so if a material allows the flux lines to pass through it easily then it is called as the highly permeable and some material uh, does not allow uh, uh, flux lines very easily is called as the lower permeable materials so highly permeable materials are the iron and steel and low permeable materials are the glass and wood okay so uh, the ability of material to carry the flux lines is called as the permeability so there are three types of permeabilities absolute permeability permeability of free space and relative permeability so what is absolute permeability it is defined as the ratio of magnetic flux density b so what is magnetic flux density flux per unit area okay to the magnetic field strength h in a particular material is called as the absolute permeability so absolute permeability is nothing but simple simple ratio of magnetic flux density b to the magnetic field strength h in a particular media or a particular material so mu is equal to b upon h if you take b upon h in a particular material which is called as the absolute permeability then permeability of free space it is defined as the ratio of magnetic flux density b to the magnetic field strength h in air or a vacuum so if you take the ratio of b upon h in a vacuum or a air that ratio in a vacuum or a air is called as the permeability of free space so what is permeability of free space it is simply ratio of magnetic uh, magnetic flux density to the magnetic field strength in the air or a vacuum that ratio is called as the permeability of free space 
so and what is permeability it is the ability of material to carry the flux lines some material carry the flux lines very easily okay and some material don't relative permeability it is defined as the ratio of magnetic flux density in a particular medium to the magnetic flux density in a, in a free space produced by a same magnet mu r is equal to b upon v0 so relative permeability is simply ratio of magnetic flux density in a particular medium to the magnetic flux density in a free space b by b0 is the relative permeability and notation is mu r so uh, we have seen in the permeability that permeability is a ability of material to carry the to carry the flux uh, absolute permeability is the ratio of magnetic flux density to magnetic field strength in a particular medium permeability of free space is the ratio of magnetic flux density to magnetic field strength in a vacuum and relative permeability is the ratio of magnetic flux density uh, in a particular medium to the magnetic flux density in a free space produced by the same magnet okay with this we are going to stop here